Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins, and today's topic is going to be about the best ways to build muscle. And it's the four best ways to build muscle, and I made a video about this a long time ago, uh, a couple years ago now, and I'll put that link to that video after uh, I tell you something very important today. So I mentioned this because I know a lot of people are, you know, wanting want to build muscle. Look, the, first of all, one of the number one causes of aging at the end is is the lack of muscle that you have, okay? When you die of, let's say, cancer or whatever, you end up dying because you have no more muscle. Your body eats itself. So the more muscle you have, the better. The lower the body fat, the better. So, and I mentioned that original video that there's only four ways to build muscle. And the number one way is not the diet. It's not the exercise. If you want to be as big and muscular as possible, I'm not saying everyone wants to look like, I don't know, Schwarzenegger or or some other pro bodybuilder in these days. Obviously, I'm aging myself, mentioning Arnold. But you gotta have the right genetics, okay? It's a game of genetics. Someone will say, oh, it's diet. You know, the, the, the nutrition guy will say it's a diet thing. And then the trainer will say it's all about the exercise. And then the guy selling you supplements and, and protein powders and all that, it's all about the right supplements and stuff. And then the steroid guy will say it's about steroid. No, not even close, man. It's 90% genetics, all right? 90% genetics, and that remains 10%, all right? The other 10% that you have left, 7% is your hormones, and thus potential steroids, and that leaves three other percent in this order. 1% being your exercise, you gotta exercise, then your diet, and then just rest. Anyone wants to argue that with me, I'm more than happy to get on a podcast, open, anytime, anywhere, any place. Well, obviously not any place. But I will argue this to the day I die, because I always thought it was something else. You have to have the right genetics, all right? Look at Arnold back in the days, in the 70s, huge chest, huge biceps, okay? Most guys don't have as big as chest and biceps these days as he did. That was like 40 years ago, okay? And why? You think he had a special steroid that he took back then? Dianabol, Primabolin, a little bit of testosterone? No. You think he had a special exercise? Hell, the guy did like 20 to 25 sets for chest three times a week, all right? It wasn't because he did too much, that much or anything like that. He just had great chest genetics, great bicep genetics, okay? Look at, again, another guy, Tom Platts from the old days. Again, I don't mention these old days because you can't say, oh, these guys, it's the steroids that they're taking these days. He had huge legs, okay? Genetically, he had huge legs. His upper body nowhere near his top. Genetics. He even would say, I remember in an interview that he's like, I could have built huge legs just running up a hill. Genetics. And I mentioned this not to turn you off. Say, oh shit, I don't have the genetics, so forget it. It's to let you know that at the end of the day, just maximize what you have. Don't beat yourself up. Don't think there's a secret sauce somewhere or I'm gonna take a special dose of steroids or something. It's not gonna happen, okay? I guarantee you. Look at um, Jay Cutler. He said when he was a teenager, he already weighed 200 pounds. The guy's only like 5'9", 200 pounds. I'm only 205, 210, okay? And I'm six foot three, that guy. And then the first year he worked out, he gained 50 pounds. First year, no drugs. Still a teenager. That means he's two or 250 pounds already, and he's only five foot nine. He's still a teenager. Yeah, is it because he had a special workout? No, genetics, okay? Ronnie Coleman, genetics, all right? All these guys have great genetics. And even at that level, now all these other factors come in extremely important. You can have the right genetics. So maximize what you've got. Now, how do you maximize it after we get past the genetics? Again, I, I mentioned this in my other video. Is first, you gotta have the right hormones, okay? Without the right hormones, you're not gonna get it. Case in point, the difference between a 20 year old you, same genetics, and an 80 year old you is you don't have the hormones, okay? Look at even all these pro bodybuilder guys and when they're on and off a cycle, all right? They look completely different, okay? And that's with great genetics. So you have to have the right hormones. I'm not saying to take steroids or anything. I'm not talking about all that. First of all, maximize your hormones at any age. Most people have crappy hormones because they have these horrible lifestyles. So you want to maximize the most anabolic hormone in the body at the end of the day if you want to get big and ripped. It's not insulin. 
It's not growth hormone or IGF or any of that stuff, okay? Trust me, it's testosterone and testosterone analogs, all right? Whether you wanna do uh, Dynabol or Trenbolone or Primobolin or Nandrolone or whatever you wanna do, all right? It's steroids. And your most anabolic steroid, anabolic androgenic steroid is going to be testosterone. So you gotta maximize your testosterone levels and at the same time, you don't wanna have excessive negative hormones, which would be estrogens and DHT and so forth. And again, I mentioned that in another video and I put a link on and ways you can improve your testosterone levels below this. Um, supplements can definitely help, but lifestyle and so forth. And remember, that's 90%, I said it's genetics, and then the other 7%, right? I said it's, it's hormones. Again, you don't trust me? Look at a woman and a man, all right? Now look at the woman who takes, you know, tries to become a man and they take testosterone or whatever, all right? What happens? They get muscle, okay? What happens if you shut down your testosterone and took estrogen? You turn into a woman, okay? So it's hormones. Genetics aside, it's hormones. Hormones, hormones, hormones. And why is testosterone so awesome? Not only does it all do all these anabolic stuff, it also reduces things like cortical steroids, you know, it blocks at the glucocorticoid receptors with your estrogen, it optimizes growth hormone, IGF levels, it also gets in the path of myostatin, and at some point your body figures it out and then kills the other hormones, you gotta keep upping the dose. So that's why testosterone is so big. Take all the growth hormone you want, you're never gonna get as big as some guy who takes all the steroids he wants. So again, hormones. Now that leaves diet and exercise and then rest. So why do I say exercise is more important than your diet? Because you can eat the greatest diet. If you don't exercise, if you don't lift weights, you're not gonna get anywhere. If you kept eating the same amount and you lifted the same weight forever, you're not gonna grow. So there has to be some kind of progressive overload, okay? Whether that's increasing more weights, more reps, more sets, more volume, there's gotta be a progress and it's gotta be difficult. You can't be like lifting 10 pound dumbbells for the rest of your life, even if you did 20 sets. So keep that in mind. Then comes your diet. I know people are like, diet's number one. No, I know a lot of bodybuilders, okay? They eat junk, okay? They eat hot dogs and they eat crap and they eat out and they look awesome. They don't seem to get fat. If they eat more food when they diet, they just lose, lose fat. They gain muscle when they eat more food. So again, it comes down to your diet, but what is it? It's not that difficult. Pick a diet you can choose. You gotta have enough protein, adequate amounts of protein. You gotta have some carbohydrates if you wanna maximize muscle growth, and you have to have some healthy fats. You don't have to go all high fat diets, not gonna be good for muscle. You can't do keto if you wanna gain maximum amount of muscle. You can't do intermittent fasting if you wanna do maximize your optimal muscle mass, right? And then, and then comes rest. If you don't sleep or rest, you're not gonna get anywhere, okay? Take all the steroids and all the drugs and everything you want, don't sleep for four days, you'll be dead, okay? So you gotta rest, you, got, you have to maximize. There's this balance, because your body can only recover so much. Even with steroids or growth hormone, it's still, there's only so much your body can do. It's got limited amount of resources. That's why you can't gain 30 pounds of muscle in 30 days. It takes time to build muscle, okay? Genetics aside, you gotta optimize your hormones and all this stuff. So, with that said, watch my other video, but once again, genetics, you gotta have it. And if you don't, look at me. I know more about stuff than 99% of people when it comes to building muscle, when it comes to diet and exercise. You guys want me to get on a call about steroids and SARMs and growth hormone? Psh, I lived on for that stuff in the old days, okay? My original mentor and guy I worked with was Dan Duchesne. I know all these guys. One of my clients is a semi-pro bodybuilder. He's on 1,500 milligrams of test. He's 305, okay? Lean, single-digit body fat. He works hard, but he does a lot of wrong things. Anyhow, genetics aside, see what you can do, maximize yours, optimize your hormones. Without the hormones, nothing matters. When your hormones are good, you utilize the food for muscle and energy, okay? Then you exercise. Don't do too much, don't do too little. I suggest minimum of three times a week, maximum five times a week, okay? Progressive overload. Doesn't mean you're always doing more. Again, your body can't keep going up. It goes up and down and up and down and up and down. Same thing with diet. You can't just keep eating more and more food because you'll get fat. 
you eat a little bit more food, you do a little bit more of this, you plateau, you then add a little bit more, sometimes you back down, and it's this, all right? And it takes time, all right? Not everyone's gonna turn, you know, gain 100 pounds of muscle like Jay Cutler did in just a couple years, okay? It's a slow process. And then your goal is to stay healthy. What does that mean? Keep your immune system healthy. That means don't do stupid exercises, warm up, stretch, don't do ballistic stuff like I used to do all the dumb things and have bad shoulders and bad herniated discs and bad elbows and bad knees. I'm like a, I'm a skinny guy, all right? Again, I'm only like 205, 210. My arm's like almost maybe maximum 18 inches, all right? I'll never get to 21, 22 inches. Even with steroids, I can't get there. So optimize what you got and then be healthy and the goal is long-term. You wanna look good in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s, okay? You don't wanna look good for a few years and turn into a slob and be unhealthy afterwards. So it's a long-term, hence my company and what I stand for, my business is health, fitness, and longevity. Of course, when I was young, it was all about fitness. Then it turned into little by little about health, and then it's longevity. So right now, I'm going to Gold's Gym, Yes, the original one in Venice. I love going there. It used to be much better, more fun back in the days. But, you know, it's got all the top guys. You see it, you get energized, you get motivated because I need all the motivation I need at this junction in my life. It's not as fun as it used to be. And then do other things in your life, all right, that bring you joy and happiness. Uh, make more money, get educated, treat people well, be nice to yourself. So with that said, Take a look at below this video. I've got links to the other uh, videos I've got and information. Let me know what topics you want me to cover. Please, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe and click the notification icon, wherever it is these days, so you get notified when new videos come out. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, listening, and I wish you a very happy and healthy day.